guys and welcome back to my channel and today i'll be talking to you guys about how to win this chevlin scholarship so all you need to know about the characteristics of chevlin scholars from my observation now these are my own views from my own experiences and it's just a suggestion basically but anyways from what i have observed especially from my own court these are the characteristics of typical successful chevlin scholars number one chevlin applicants not scholars obviously because i don't know <laughs> but yeah number one um strong academic background or proven academic competency um it's either they did really well academically that's in the university they have a first class a two one you know, strong academic grades because they're obviously going to ask for your transcript and your certificate or through your referees and your work and publications, you're able to demonstrate that you're also very intelligent and you can handle an intensive master's degree course because really the training process is very intensive and they want to be sure that mentally you can handle this. So if you don't have a strong academic background, so let's say you have like two two or like, I don't know about third class, sir, but I know Tutu, I know of Tutus that I've gotten in. You just need your references and your work to really depict this. But if you have a 2-1, a first class, perfect. You are on the right track as well. Um, number two, they have a demonstrable track record. So what I mean by this is, they're not just saying things they've done, we can actually see it. For example, if we research the projects they worked on, um, the foundation they own, the business they're working on we can actually see it online or offline there's some level of proof because they want they don't want you to just say oh i'm the ceo of a company that you just opened an instagram page and there's really nothing do you get you have to have enough demonstrable influence you need to be able to have people you've worked with people you have partnered with projects you have embarked on that you can actually demonstrate Number three, a lot of them have consistent experiences and stories. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Number one, me, I'm studying creative enterprise and most of my examples in my essays, in my interview, everything was all about my work in creative industry as a creative entrepreneur, as a creative. Basically, you can see that there's a, there's a trajectory that I'm following, even though my undergraduate degree wasn't the same. But once I finished from school, I was just doing everything in the creative industry and they know that, okay, this person is focused. And even my career path that I, you know, told them about was around the creative industry. I have friends that there was someone, um, Abigail Ador, she is an HR professional. So she has about eight years working experience in the HR industry. She wanted to study human resource management our goals and dreams are around you know making a change in that aspect so you can see that there's consistency so you don't really see people that maybe they were doing like um a and then all of a sudden because of children you just switch it's best if you already made the switch before you apply and then you can demonstrate the work you've already done you know in that place number three or four i'm not really sure you need to have innovative ideas so the career part is where you really have to sell yourself. They want people that have different ideas, people that have something creative that can solve a problem because they want people that would obviously think about things that they might not otherwise have thought about. People who come up with innovative ways to solve problems that people have been having issues with. So in your career plan, in while selling yourself, you need to have something innovative, something different, something that, they, that can be like the it factor that you're like, okay, this is like this is deep or something they're already doing but doing it better so for me my career plan essay i researched a lot about the chevening organization and i started a lot about the alumni network in my in my country about the work the uk is doing and i thought of projects that i believed could you know make things better and i ensured that i put it there so you need to be able to be very innovative also chevening scholars are great researchers let me be very honest with you I want you to watch my videos, I want you to learn, but you also need to do some research. So even your industry, you need to demonstrate that you've done some research. Google what is happening, research what the UK is doing in your country. Research about that thing that you're saying, who else has done it? How can you do it better? Because if you don't research, you end up saying things that they've heard before and you don't come off as different. But then if you research, you go through their website, you've heard everything that you want to talk about. I feel like you'll be in a better place. You also have to be very strategic. So in every decision you're going to make from the beginning to the end 
you need to think about backup plans. You can't just do chevening. You can't just apply for chevening just because. You have to be very strategic about it. So even in your university choices, your course choices, you know, your interviews, every every single thing has to have been thought about. You can't be doing last minute things. You have to have thought every single thing through. And above all, you might do everything right and still not get in, but at least you know that you're putting your best effort. If you don't get in, there's nothing wrong with trying again. And really, it doesn't take anything away from you because the acceptance rate is 2%. And there are many people that are really, really good that didn't really get in. So don't let that don't let that discourage you. So I hope this was really useful, guys. If you have any specific questions about it, just drop it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer you guys. I'm rooting for you. I want you to get the Chevron Scholarship because, you know, I want to work with you. I want to vibe with you. Anyways, guys, this video was sponsored by Edmont Consulting. I remain your girl, AFM Stories. Subscribe, share, like tag people and let them come on board this train have a nice day